How's it going guys, Zab here, and today we're going to go through some of the DLCs you can buy here in Fishing Planet, and I'm going to give you guys some ideas of what you should buy at $5, $10, $20, 30 40 50 depending on how much you guys want to put into the game. Um, one tip I'm going to give you guys right away is when you are looking for a DLC, the number one most important thing, even more important than the gear, if you're very low level, is to look for one with a big keep net. So you look at like the saltwater match pack here, you scroll down to the keep net, you can see here a 250 kilogram keep nut that's gonna last you up until level 50 but let's get started let's look at a good five dollar dlc now if you guys are looking for some five dollar dlcs here and you're looking to get maybe a rod instead of just a keep net now remember guys this is in canadian prices so it might be a little bit different if you're american or if you're in the uk or wherever you are you have to double check for yourselves to see the prices i'm only going based off what they are for me but this is a bunch of five dollar dlcs here now i recommend the spore bottom pack personally this is a very, very good bottom rod. This is going to be very helpful in many, many places to catch tarpon in the Everglades, pike and muskie in Michigan, sturgeon in California. This rod right here is just absolutely perfect. I love it. It's one of my favorite, favorite rods. So if you guys are looking for a bottom rod, this is definitely a very good one to go for. You get some uh, high quality baits here too, which is absolutely perfect. Now you don't get the greatest keep net with this, guys. But it's still pretty decent, 740 kilograms, so like 140-ish pounds. Not bad. It's only 569 Canadian. It's very, very good. Now, if you do want something else, you would say you want to go for a, a float rod. They have the same thing, but with float rods, it's got a different uh, keep net. But it really depends on what you guys are looking for here. They also have a carp one you can go for here. Uh, very, very, very good carp rod. It really just depends on what you guys want to do what type of fishing you're into but for five bucks five six bucks you get a pretty decent rod setup that you can use pretty much until you're like level 50 in this game so if that's what you're looking for you're looking for cheap dlc maybe you're just trying to try out the game you want to spend five six bucks there you go you can grab something like that all right guys so for the ten dollar tier i'm going to be doing about 10 to 15 in that area uh this is on sale right now the char chargers pack this is a very, very good one. You get 20 bait coins, seven days of premium. You get a 9.5 kilogram spinning rod and then a 19.5 kilogram spinning rod. You get two reels that match those. You get um, a two rod holder here or a, a two rod case. You get a vest with some tackle and stuff. You get some line, you get some jig heads, nymphs, single spoons, stuff like that. A lot of this stuff you, um, you unlock a little bit later in the game. So this is pretty good tackle. You also get 150 kilogram keep net which is very solid you get a storage box two templates obviously and you get some advanced licenses to some very good areas here so it is up to you guys it might not be in sale when you guys look at this video but that's a pretty decent one you can just see here a month of premium is about 13 dollars recommend definitely just get 30 days of premium and maybe uh combine them with one of these uh and that will that'll hit that'll be just under 20 dollars which isn't too bad you could also just buy two of these rods as well all right guys for the 20 dollar range here we're gonna do about 20 to 25 dollars canadian now this is the one i would recommend personally is the saltwater match pack if you're looking to get a very very big keep net and a pretty solid rod you get one of the best float rods in the entire game the majesty you get 20 bait coins 40,000 credits a week of premium you get a very good tackle box you get some very good line uh, you get some floats some hooks but the big thing here is the, uh, the the fancier baits here for when you're at Blue Crab. You also get a Fish Citadel Large Plus, which is 250 kilograms. So this is a 500 pound plus fish uh, keeper here, which is perfect. You get some storage. But the big thing here is you get the Blue Crab 7 Day Pass. If you're looking to power level, guys, this is what you want to do. And you want to go to Blue Crab. You want to put on a 7-0 hook, go watch my tarpon video, and try and catch some unique tarpons while you have this. And this is a great way to power level. This pack is absolutely amazing. For 22 bucks, you get an end game keep net that you can keep until basically level 55. You get one of the better rods in the game. Very, very good pack, guys. Um, other ones you can also go for here are some of these Gars and Glory packs here. This is another good one. You get a bunch of match rods. They're pretty heavy duty, 16 kilograms, 13 kilograms. You get some rod holders, tackle boxes, vests, stuff like that, hooks, bait. And you get a 200 kilogram fish net. You do get some other uh, advanced licenses there and passes and stuff. Uh, the Gars and Glory one's good. The Spring Cats one is good as well. These are all about $20. Now, these ones do have a little bit smaller of keep nets, but it really kind of depends on what you're looking for here in rods. I still recommend the Saltwater Match Pack. 
But any of these will do, guys, if you're looking for carp, same type of thing, 200 kilogram fishnet. This one actually does come with a rod stand, guys, so this is very, very helpful if you're looking to maybe go to United Kingdom for a week or whatever. But the big thing about this one is it does come with a rod holder. If you guys are desperate for a rod holder, there you go. You get a good keep net, you get a rod holder. That's super, super helpful. Um, there's also the Bream Feeder Frenzy Pack, same type of thing. This one comes with a 250 kilogram uh, keep net, which is huge. Uh, but these come with feeder rods. So again, it depends on what you guys are looking for. Definitely go with either the saltwater match pack, guys, for that 250 ki uh, kilogram keep net. Or grab the Mighty Carp one if you're looking for a free rod holder. Either of those would do very, very good for you guys. But for $20, that's what I recommend to grab. One of these uh, Mighty Carp tournament packs or the saltwater match pack. All right, guys, for $30, I recommend just grabbing the new Rainforest Journey pack so you can go to Peru. This gives you one of the better spinning rods in the entire game, guys. Uh, the Aguero 200 SE. This thing is an absolute machine. It gives you guys good line. It gives you guys good leaders. Good jig heads, baits, lures, everything you need when you go to Peru. It gives you a very, very big keep net. And for 30 bucks, you get to go check out the new map. And honestly, it's really not a bad deal. Uh, some of you guys might be looking for a boat here. Now, honestly, if I was going to get a boat, I would just get one of these two. But for 28 bucks, you could go ahead and grab the spinning, uh, the spinning rod, the Loki 230. It comes with a comparable reel. It comes with a boat. Now, it's not the bass boat. It's still a pretty decent setup, guys. But honestly, if I were you guys and I was looking for a boat, I would just go to the bass boat. But that's up to you. But I'd highly, highly recommend the uh, the new Rainforest Journey Pack. You get a great keep net. You get one of the better spinning rods in the game. And you get to go check out the new map. All right, guys. Now that we're getting up in the higher prices here, I'm just going to show you guys what you should buy uh, depending on what you're looking for. So... Obviously, the one a lot of people want is the Bass Boat Explorer one here. This is a very, very good DLC. You guys get a very, very good casting rod, okay? Obviously, you get the awesome Bass Boat, which is great for so many different places. You get great line. You get some rigs, sinkers, hooks, uh, good baits. You get the major poppers, all this stuff. Very, very useful in Blue Crab. Extremely useful in Blue Crab. Also useful in Peru with the new Arapaimas. You also get a 250 kilogram keep net, so very, very big keep net. Again, if you're looking for a boat, this is the one to get, guys. You're going to get the bigger keep net that you get in the saltwater match pack, but you're also going to get a boat. You're going to get a casting rod. Uh, you're going to get uh, some passes to Mississippi. Blue crab for 30 days, so if you're look really looking to power level, this is very, very good. You can catch lots of unique tarpon with this setup right here. Now, if you guys are looking for kind of an all-in-one deal, the Golden Pack is very, very good. You get a bunch of different rods. You get a ton of eight coins. You get 30 days of premium. You get uh, 100,000 credits. And this one, specifically, if you're not looking for a boat necessarily, but you kind of want one, you do get a kayak in this pack, which is great. But on top of that, you also get a very good-sized keep net. And specifically, you get a rod holder. If you're looking for a rod holder... This is a very, very good one to get. Let me just scroll down here. So you get 150 kilogram heat net, so a little bit smaller than the other ones like the Bass Boat and the Saltwater Match. But the rod holder is definitely a good way to go. Also, if you guys really wanted to, you could maybe buy a Saltwater Match Pack. And then on top of that, grab one of like the Mighty Carp Pack. That'd be around the same price. There, That way you get the big keep net and you get the uh, three rod holder. So it really is up to you guys if you want to mix and match here. But for those, that's pretty much all you need to do. Honestly, guys, you don't need to buy any of these DLCs if you want to speed up your progress for sure. But I'd recommend grabbing premium. If you're trying out the game, grab premium for a month and then maybe grab one of the sport rods here. And that's going to help you level up. But it's really up to you guys. There's a ton of good packs. But if you're looking for the best budget pack, what I consider probably like not too much money, but not a crazy amount. Definitely go with the saltwater match pack, guys. It's only 22 bucks. You get you get a try at blue crab. You get a week of premium. You get a great keep net. This pack here for 22 bucks, absolutely great price. And this is what I'd recommend. If you don't want to blow the bank, this is what I'd recommend. Saltwater match pack. If you want to go completely crazy, grab the bass boat explorer pack or the golden pack. Either of those will do. I'm not a big fan of the lucky bundle pack or the. Uh, golden dragon pack or anything like that i mean you can get them but the golden pack 
is what I would recommend if you're going to go all out or the bass boat, just because the boat is so handy. Again, it kind of depends on where you guys are in terms of your fishing plan or journey. If you're just starting out, some of these uh, keep nets are going to be absolutely amazing for you. But if you're level 55 and you already have a bigger keep net than 250 kilograms, then maybe you're not focusing on that. You're looking for a boat. It honestly depends on where you guys are at and what you're looking for and what type of fishing you're looking to do. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below and I'll try to answer them as best I can. But there you go, guys. Remember, the prices are going to be a little bit different. They're all in Canadian. But there you go. There's a little review of all the DLCs here in Fishing Planet. And remember, uh, some of the sales will not be on in the future. So if they're on sale in the video and they're not on sale when you guys go to look, that is why. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the description, the links to my social media platforms and Discord where you can come hang out. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a video. And also comment down below and I'll try to respond as best as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.